Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to use React with React Router v4 to render a list of articles from different sources, but they're facing a challenge with API keys. They want to know if rendering the same component with different props will yield the correct results. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To address the issue of using the same API key across different routes, we need to ensure that each route correctly passes its unique API key to the get articles component. In your app component, you are using the render prop of the route component. This is a good approach, but we need to ensure that the API keys are correctly defined and passed. Now let's look at the get articles component. This component fetches articles based on the API key passed to it. Make sure that the API key is being used correctly in the Axios get request. Regarding your question about using a single component for different articles, this is a valid approach. It promotes code reusability. However, if the components become too complex, consider creating separate components for each article list. Finally, test your application by navigating to each route. Ensure that the correct articles are displayed for each API key. This will confirm that your implementation is working as intended. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. In React, when rendering the same component with different props, the component didMount method only runs once after the initial render. To handle prop changes, you should use component will receive props to check for new props and make API calls accordingly. Here's an example of how to implement this. In the getArticles component, we call the API in component did mount and check for new API keys in component will receive props. The call API method fetches data using Axios and updates the component state with the article titles. This ensures that the component reflects the latest data based on the current API key. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Peace.